Steven Spielberg's first theatrical feature was to be White Lightning. <laughs> he panicked because he'd never shot off the lot. Everything he'd done was on the Universal lot. After a few months of pre-production, Spielberg quit the film and decided to do the Sugarland Express with Goldie Hawn instead. You super giant ass. Burke plays whiskey runner Gator McCluskey in this action thriller best known for its high-speed, exciting car chases. It was in what you call your basic action-adventure comedy kind of thing. Now listen, you son of a... Ow! God! Oh, oh, damn it. Oh. Elements of this film might actually remind you a little of Smokey and the Bandit. Get over to the right a little bit, Junior. Daddy, my flash still on. Junior, if you lose this thing, it's coming out of your paycheck. You know that, don't you? Let me tell you something, Junior. You got the keys in the curb, Junior. If you ever embarrass me like that again, well, get after him, Junior. I'm going to get an axe, and you're never going to have to open your fly again. Quentin Tarantino was a huge fan of White Lightning and used some of composer Charles Bernstein's scores in his films Kill Bill and Inglorious Bastards. Only two things in the world I'm scared of. I'm scared of two things. What's that? Women and the police. It was Bert's stuntman and longtime friend Hal Needham who directed the car chase scenes in White Lightning. As you can see, he had a special talent for this type of action picture. What happened to you? In this scene, Gator lies about what happened to him to a young girl who probably never saw Deliverance. I was trying to save these two buddies of mine from getting knocked up by a homosexual. This car jump in the film almost took the life of Bert's longtime pal, Hal Needham. He wanted the barge to be moving. I think that's kind of stupid, Hal, because we'll be on you, and you'll fly through the air, and we could have the barge setting, because we're not going to be on it until you're on it. And he said, no, I want it moving. The resulting impact was devastating, but could have been a lot worse. Well, I'll be damned. Needham was stunned, and Bert dove into the water to pull him out of the car. Hal recovered, but it was a scary moment for one of the greatest stuntmen in film history. And I said, are you hurt at all? And he said, got a little headache, but they gave me some Percodine, and I'm really happy. And I thought it was a good picture. White Lightning actually did pretty well at the time for a low budget of only $950,000. It made about $18 million. <laughs> Watch for new movie reviews and documentary series. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell so you know when new reviews arrive.